They're practicing football without a real season live in the MIAC this fall, and that, of course, includes St. John's University. The defending conference champs, where the head coach tries to push through it with practice sessions, but you can't replace Saturday afternoons. This is the time of year St. John's comes to life at the football field, a part of the majesty of fall. When you see the colors, and especially here at St. John's, with our venue, with all the oranges and reds and yellows. And, uh, you know, last year, it seemed like every Saturday it was raining. And this year, every Saturday has been absolutely beautiful. Another tradition, up to 200 players on a roster, making it interesting at practice. You know, do the math. That's a lot of small groups that we're trying to coach. And so we ended up with really three different practices. We went with one in the morning and then two in the afternoon. And... Um, you know, and then last week we, we went to two practices, and this week we're, we're going to two practices again. But each, each week, it seems, we're trying to add a little bit more. This week, we're hoping to get some contact in. You talk about numbers, obviously. You get over 200, there's a better chance you're going to have COVID or, or case breakout. How have you managed that? Um, on the practice field, everybody walks out with a mask on. And if you're not involved in a drill, we're actually running and running the drill. Uh, we expect you to have a mask on. So, you know, our coaches are wearing masks the whole time. So we're doing everything we possibly can to try to mitigate everything. And, and um, I think, quite frankly, we've been, we've been pretty good at, at keeping it down here. But beyond that, this is football season. And to not be able to take the field on game day, that creates an emptiness that is difficult to fill. I sense uh, a sadness in some of our guys. You can see it in their face that, not having anything to prepare for on Saturday is really tough on them.